while I was listening to this in the background I've kept up with a few things from a few different channels uh, there was Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad there was uh, how many others oh god there's so many fucking financial channels it's hard to keep track of them Epic Economist, Atlantis Report, uh, Golden Silver with Mike Maloney, uh, a couple of random vlogger guys who just cover the topics. Um, I just keep track of a bunch of different viewpoints on the same subject matter. And it just suddenly occurred to me, listening to the video go on. Every time you go to sell something in the stock market, in the publicly tradable stock market, not the uh, shadow government stock market. Every time you go to sell something, its alleged value, yeah, quotation fingers for value, Total Dr. Evil style on that one. Value. It's value. Seems to nosedive as soon as you go off and sell it. Now the fallacy of value that most humans choose to abide by isn't supply and demand. That's another fallacy entirely. Now, value value it's become one of those buzzwords <laughs> just to get people's attention I could go into that but that's that's not directly uh, necessary for this video the value goes down as soon as it's sold and you go and you try and buy something and then its value starts going up value really value doesn't change either something is worth something or it's not for you to say oh it's worth this much of a thing right now but as soon as you want to sell it back to us like a car or a stock option or a house its value decreases we call that depreciation no that's just saying fuck you I want to keep all your money I don't want to do any fair trade fair trade is equivalent exchange which is also claimed to be one of the laws of alchemy which the United States dollar does not abide by it has no value neither does gold because if its value was static instead of dynamic people wouldn't be charging more for it when you're buying it right now its value would not have gone up. Neither would silver, neither would any of the so-called precious metals. Why does their value in a fiat currency fluctuate? Because they have no value. Neither does the currency. If any one of them had any real value, the dollar worth of a fucking pound of gold would not ever change. If that gold had real fucking value, its worth in dollars or exchangeability in any global currency, even other fucking so-called precious metals, it would not fluctuate. It would be a flat line for all of eternity. There is no value in anything except the fake power that your government's lord over you by doping your dumb ass into the confusopoly of money, currency, and value. Value, value, value. It's all a big fucking fallacy circle jerk.
Now, I'd love to hear some flat earth retards come back at me saying, Oh, I'm an economist. I know what the fuck is what. You don't know shit. Come on, bring it the fuck at me. Because everything you've got, it doesn't have a single fucking leg to stand on. Just like those flat earthers. That's how fucking retarded you are. Because if anything had any real value, everyone would already agree on gold, silver, all these metals, all these rocks we dug out of the ground. They're worth this much and they'll never change. There would be no up and down in the stock market on it. And that stock I've got for Microsoft, it wouldn't have gone from $80 two years ago to $200 now. It'd be a flat fucking line. Everything in the markets would be a flat fucking line. Because everything would be on the equivalent exchange. Because there would be an agreed upon value. Because there would be a real value. Value. Show me a fucking rock you dug out of the ground worth something. And I'll bash your fucking head in with it. Because that's about how valuable it is. It's about how valuable your fucking head is. This world's overpopulated. You need to fucking die anyway. Fucking idiots thinking things are valuable fucking morons. Nothing is valuable. Nothing! Oh look, I didn't take ten fucking minutes to tell you how fucking much of an idiot you are. <laughs> anyway, just think about it. If that fucking series of rocks dug out of the ground had any real value, it would never fluctuate. So economist, you got shit to stand on.